I'm really excited about Jimmy McGovern's new series. It looks absolutely fantastic, beautifully written. It's got a very simple idea at the heart of it that it starts with someone in a holding cell at a courtroom and you don't know why they're in court or what they've been convicted of. And it tells the entire story of, of why they've ended up in court backwards, if you see what I mean. So really, really exciting new piece of drama for nine o'clock. I'm also incredibly excited about Matt and Dave's new series. They are doing a spoof documentary about an airport where they play every single character. And I've seen some of them and they're absolutely brilliant. And they're shooting that now in Sunset Airport, so I think that's going to be a fantastic one. We've also got Outcast coming up, very exciting. What can you tell us about that? I think Outcast is a, a real departure for the channel. We're doing a huge piece of effectively sci fi. I mean, it is literally set on another planet, so a very, very ambitious piece, which I think sci fi audiences, people who've loved Torchwood and who have really enjoyed Sherlock, are going to particularly enjoy. Okay, you have got Torchwood coming back as well. Can you just talk to me about uh, the recommission process for that? Because it's been a while. It has. I mean, I think it was an exciting set of conversations around Torchwood where we realised there was appetite for it from the American market as well. And as a result of that, we've been able through a co-production to bring it back as 13 parts, which I think is really, really exciting and keeps it alive for a BBC One audience. I mean, in many respects, it was a surprise hit of last summer, a bit like Sherlock was the surprise hit of this summer. Fantastic to see that you can get audiences of five or six million coming to sci-fi on the channel. Sherlock, massive uh, success. It's scheduling, it was three 90 minute episodes. Can you talk a bit about the length of the episodes and why it wasn't 60? Sure, I mean, we piloted Sherlock as a 60 minute show, and it's exactly the way the development process should work, really. We looked at it in detail, we looked at the casting, we looked at the storytelling across the 60 minutes, and we thought we could improve on it. So when it went to series, we discussed with Stephen and with Hartswood turning it into 90 minute films, and that's ultimately what happened and, and the form that it will now take. So, you know, I've announced today that it will come back next year as three 90 minutes again, and that's something that Stephen. Moffat feels very strongly about it. He feels that's the right shape for that piece. Okay. Doctor Who, big changes this year. Were you happy with how the full series went? Absolutely okay. delighted with Doctor Who. I and mean, I think it's one of the most terrifying things when you're BBC One controller. To, to be in charge of a regeneration and to cast the new Doctor Who is one of the most exciting things you can do in the job. So for Matt and Karen to have landed as successfully as they have in the audience's mind, to be as popular and to have been instantly uh, associated with the role, I think was wonderful. But the telling point for me was that first episode where Matt sits there and puts the fish finger into the custard. And I think from that moment on, I was completely gone and believed in him. Okay. There's always rumours and speculation with Who that it might move to the autumn. Is that something you've considered? We're talking about what form Doctor Who will, will take. I think the interesting thing with having Stephen running that show now is it will be very much a creative decision. He will decide what he thinks feels right for the show. Okay. Strictly coming back this year. Um, several changes, is that right? Well, Strictly is coming back. I think, you know, a lot of, sort of nonsense was spoken about last year. I think it was a fantastic series, the second highest rating series ever. There will be changes, but the things that the audience love will remain the same. So we've got exactly the same judging panel. But what I think is exciting, we've got some fantastic celebrities, and I'm really, really excited about it. And you mentioned in the session there's a launch show coming up. What can you tell us about that? That's right. For the first time ever, it really struck me at the press launch last year that in many respects the most exciting part of Strictly is when you announce to the, to the public, and up until now it's only been to the press, actually, who the pairings were, which dance partner would dance with which celebrity, and I thought there's a real opportunity to turn that into a great Saturday night show. So this year, that's what we will be doing. We will be announcing who is dancing with who as part of a Saturday night entertainment show. Okay. Gavin and Stacey um, finished last Christmas. Is that it? Could it come back? I mean, I talked to Ruth and James a lot about Gavin and Stacey. We've got no immediate plans to bring it back, but I'm not only a huge fan of the show myself, but I know audiences and their millions loved it last Christmas. So there are no immediate plans, but I would certainly never say never. Okay, final question, a personal question. Uh, Mistresses ended this week. Loved the show. Did you? I you are the only loved. man I've ever heard say that. Oh my God, a Mistresses fan. It was we should put you in aspic. <laughs> It, is that the final episode? Because there's a lot of like campaigns starting to, to get it recommissioned. This is, is a very funny show. I think sometimes on BBC One you find pieces that just absolutely get a core audience who love, adore and, and nurture that show and keep the spirit alive. And Mistresses was one of those. And I think after the series before last, I was in two minds about whether to bring it back. Um, but I decided ultimately when I saw the scripts that there was the making of a final four-part series. So in my mind, that is the end of Mistresses. I know fans are going to miss it, but I think it was a really fitting ending to a, to a great, watchable piece of telly.